In this tutorial, I would like to talk about how you can share completed journey maps with other people on your team across projects. So let's say the use case is that you created a story map in your project and it's one that you like very much and also some other people on your team like the map and they would like to use the map in their project. So what you can do is you can log into the project where the map is and let's say it's this map. So I'll click on it, retail story over data. It's got some images, journey map, it's got some pie charts at the bottom as well as some text. So it's definitely a complete and a nice looking map. So what I can do to share this map is I can click on edit this map and then you just go to this very bottom bullet here on the left in your map editor. It says upload eye points to this map. It's a little misleading with that title because we can actually do extracts from here as well. So if you look at the top, there are some options here on downloads that you can do. You're gonna go to this one here at the bottom. It's uh, download the entire map and all the objects and eye points that come with the map. So let's choose that one. We'll say download the map data. Now this is going to give you a .cxm file. You're not going to open this file because you won't be able to open this file. You're just gonna save this file. And then ultimately, the idea is that you'll be sharing this file with other people on your team. So let's see where that went. Okay, so when I clicked save, it just put it right in my downloads folder. Um, in my Windows Explorer. So you can go there and look and it'll give it a very generic name, uh, db.co.cxm, and you'll know that this is the file because you can just look at the date. Uh, so what I do is I take this file and cop copy it, and then you can just put it where you want it. And I'll just put it here under my training folder. So now that's done. Uh, that's how you save it locally. Um, if you were giving this to someone on another team, you could just email the file to them. Then you close. Now let's get out of the project that I'm in right now. Uh, so let's back up using our global navigation. So I was in this project just a minute ago and that's where I took the map. Now I'm going to add this map into a totally different uh, project altogether. So let's go to a different project. I'll click into my map database and you can see I only have a few uh, maps here. This is basically a new project. So now what I'll do is I'll go add a map and then you go back down to the very bottom. You're going to choose import a map via CXM. So now this is going to be a browse to where we saved it. And it should be right here. I'll open and then I'll say create new map with data. And just like that, now I've got this map in my project. And you can see it brought through all the images, it brought through all the eye points for the journey map as well as the text and the charts at the bottom. So just a simple, easy way for you to share maps across projects and share maps with other members of your team. And you could also have renamed that file that you extracted, give it a name, maybe call it the retail story over map before you email it to your coworkers. Just make sure you leave the file extension as it was when SweetCX gave you the extract. Reach out to us if you have any questions.